Dang, made for this. Do you hear that? Trash, stop. There's like snapping uh, twigs. It's like we have a couple bears here. Now, name a better family-themed reality TV show aside from Alaska, The Last Frontier. Oh wait. The show follows four generations of the Kilcher family, who live outside Homer, Alaska, and shows them surviving in the great wilderness and weathering through Alaska's tough environment. It's basically showing how to survive, but with more of a real permanent lifestyle. Additionally, they don't compete for a prize, they compete with their surroundings to survive. The show premiered on December the 29th, 2011 on the Discovery Channel and has spanned over 10 seasons. Many people who know Jane Kilcher must have done so through her husband, At Lee. But recently, she's been in the news for her comments about internet trolls and we're here to bring you what really happened to her. So, let's get into it. There's a whole bunch of them, Jane! I'm just kind of done learning. I'm ready to be a leader. I have a table! Jane Kilcher was born Christina Jane Furman on the 14th of September 1974 in Alaska, USA to Bob and Sarah Furman. Jane has two siblings, Jessica and Bobby, who all grew up in Anchorage until she turned 12. When Jane turned 12, they moved to Homer, where she met At Lee Kilcher, as her family lived 11 miles from the Kilcher homestead. Jane and At Lee have different perspectives when it comes to love. Jane married Dick Rand Kasuni from Seldovia, Alaska, and they have a daughter named Piper Isold Kasuni, born in 2003. Atsley also tied the knot with his lover, Nantia Krisintu, and has a son named Etienne with her, born in 2001. As fate would have it, both marriages failed, and they later developed feelings for each other, which led to their marriage in 2006 at the head of the bay. Speaking of Jane's Alaska journey, Alaska as the last frontier remains mysterious as some parts are still left unexplored due to road inaccessibility. People's curiosity led to more questions as they wanted to see what life was like in a place with harsh terrain and an unforgiving climate. Discovery Channel, which is known to always be on the lookout for a good story about Alaska, was directed to the family. Discovery approached Ivan Kilcher about featuring the family activities with their self-sufficient lifestyle in their homestead. Alaska, The Last Frontier subsequently featured the families of At and Otto Kilcher. Prior to Jane Kilcher's stunt on the show, let's go through how The Alaska Show started with At Lee's grandparents, Yule and Ruth. The family's 160-acre plot of land was about 12 miles away from the town of Homer, and they had to wait for low tide before they could get there with their horse-drawn carriage. They built a one-room cabin and then expanded it through the years. Homesteading became their way of life as they raised six daughters and two sons at San Otto. The public school was too far from their place, so the children were homeschooled until they were in their teens. They learned to grow food on the farm, gather edible plants or fruits, and raise or hunt animals. Making meals from scratch was a given. They were taught not just to survive, but also to thrive in the land despite the isolation and sub-zero temperatures. With all the things needed in a day, their parents still found time to read them bedtime stories. At's parents produced what was said to be the first documentary of life in a homestead entitled A Pioneer Family in Alaska, which was later showcased in Europe. After a new constitution was ratified in 1956, Alaska was proclaimed a state in 1959. Anat's father served as a senator from 1963 to 1967. The couple divorced in 1969 and Ruth married a man named Charles Marriott in 1971. As the homestead grew to around 600 acres of land, Yule set it up under the conservation easement in the 1990s, which would protect the property from being subdivided amongst family members when he was gone. His children and their families could live on the land, but the Kilcher Family Trust ensured that it would remain intact for future generations while he was long gone. At being the older son and father to At Lee, assumed the responsibility of protecting the homestead, the people, and their livestock from wild animals such as bears and wolves. While At is doing all he can for the family, his son At Lee was once labelled the black sheep of the family, saying, Sometimes I keep my eyes up to the stars too often that I don't realise I'm about to go in a ditch. At Lee once left the homestead searching for a greener pasture to pursue his passion for music. Atsley traveled far and wide before realizing that the wilderness was where he belonged. 
He returned home, built his cabin, and settled for a life there. Homesteading is characterized by subsistence farming and food preservation. Basically, it's all about making something out of nothing. When Jane and the rest of the family noticed that winter is coming, they became apprehensive because surviving winter is not that easy. The elders would often remind them, if you don't respect Mother Nature, you might not survive it. In their part of the world, winter lasts for eight months and sometimes arrives without any warning, so procrastination is something that shouldn't become a habit. With all this, it's unfortunate that Jane had to start fighting for a family's respect on the internet. The brunette beauty is tough and has become an expert at standing up to internet trolls. In 2018, Jane revealed how cruel viewers can be on her Facebook page. People say horrible comments on my weight, my looks, my character, my marriage, all because we opened up our lives for television showing you amazing things our family does. She wrote, adding, I'm a size 8 and I get called fat. Jane continued, I'm so proud to be a kilcher. If you see internet trollers, shut them down. It's always untrue and just plain hurtful. Now, prior to her 2018 post, she had posted one she shared. We're an unscripted show. All of us are hardworking. No one in our culture family exhibits behavior to warrant hate. Jay made it known that she and her husband don't like showing their two children on the shows because of the negativity of the internet trolls. She posted, I'm never not acknowledging how proud I am of them. Jane said of Piper 16, her daughter from a previous marriage, and Etienne, 18, Atz's his son from a previous relationship. I don't like to answer too many questions about them as they enjoy their privacy. I have to say, I'm in shock at all the hate towards someone who's so poetic, non-judgmental, and genuinely a person that speaks from the heart, she said at the time. Our show films us for like 200 hours that go into a 42-minute episode. Our editors can in no way capture all that happens in our lives. My husband had a horrible accident, broke 26 bones, and in his recovery tackled a lifelong goal of building a cabin in a prime hunting country for our family. There is no selfishness in what he's doing. While we applaud Jane for speaking up against internet trolls, let fans also know it's never okay to just post negative things about people. They're just humans first before anything, and they have feelings as well. Also in 2015, Jane and her husband were involved in a case using a helicopter as part of a bear hunt while filming an episode in 2014. Using any aircraft to spot prey or a helicopter as part of a hunt is illegal in Alaska. The show producers said, We thought it wouldn't be an issue since we used a float plane for hunting for the show. Jane and her husband were said to be under pressure to catch a bear, although Atsley informed the producers that it was illegal. He was told that he should just go and it will work out. As they agreed to testify against Wilma TV, the charges against them were dismissed in 2016, while Wilma TV was fined $17,500. After the court dismissal, what Jane feared the most happened in 2015, as her husband fell off a cliff while he was hiking in Otter Cove Resort in Kachamak Bay and had to be medevaced from the scene to the hospital. She took to Facebook to share what happened and reveal the injuries he sustained, writing, his injuries included a broken arm, a broken shoulder, a broken ankle, a broken hip, crushed ribs, and two punctured lungs. It will be a challenging and long road to recovery for Ats Lee, and the family appreciates everyone's good thoughts at this challenging time. Ats Lee also shared his progress via Instagram and posted, Thankful to be alive and at home with my wonderful family. My broken bones are healing nicely, considering how many I broke. My lungs are holding up, and every day I feel a little stronger. Now, during all of this, work at the homestead kept increasing, and Jane had to double her efforts in her husband's absence. It took a long time for Atsley to recover from the injuries fully. Jane is indeed a strong woman, and she doesn't deserve the harsh treatment of any of the internet trolls. With Atsley fully recovered, Jane will try to relieve herself of stress and have enough to focus on their children. With a new season scheduled for October, we can't wait to see more action and survival techniques from the Kilcher family, can you?